Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex Halsey. I am your health fitness specialist at the McLean location. Happy, uh, what's today? <laughs> Happy Wednesday morning to you all. Uh, I hope you're ready to work out. Welcome to Wednesday Why? That's the workout of the day. So the workout of the day is very simple. It can either be something that you can use to just get in a little bit of extra movement, or it can be something that you take as high and as hard into the paint as you want. All right, so that can be, mean it's gonna be really intense or it can just be uh, really, really low key. All right, so you can make this as highly intense as you want. You can make it as low key as you want. So hopefully you see the description. Uh, the way this format is set up is we're only gonna do a 15 minute workout. We have two moves that we're gonna do. We're gonna be using a Tabata style format. So 20 minutes of work, 10 minutes of rest. Then we go from one move to the next on that 2010 sort of split and we do that for the entirety of the workout all right so i'll show you a few modifications that you can do to make this move maybe a little bit easier but also some modifications to make it a little bit harder but they're both going to be cardio based moves you don't need any weights for today uh, again we can just i'll show you a few ways you can elevate the intensity of the move and then uh, also bring the intensity down and there's going to be a middle a middle option for you as well. All right. So because the class is so short, we don't have much of a warm up. We pretty much just get right into it. All right. So you will need a little bit of space. Uh, make sure you have a soft surface for your uh, knees today because we will be on the ground today as an option. So make sure you have those. Keep uh, some water around. Maybe you might you might not need it. It's only 15 minutes. I know I'll be all right. But if you need it, keep it around. All right. So no weights are required. We're pretty much just gonna get right into it. I'll show you what our two moves are and then we'll get going. So number one, we have a knee tap to the ground. So that's very, very simple. Your, your option here is to do a back lunge with a front kick or you can just do the knee to the floor taps, all right? So we've seen this all over social media. You come down, knee tap, knee tap, and then you bring your legs up, stand up, and you repeat the process. So optionally, you can do a back lunge. You can do that back lunge with a front kick, and then you just switch back lunge, front kick. And if you wanna elevate the knee taps, you can add in a jump at the top, right here. All right, jumping out the picture. That's move number one. Move number two, we have plank pushbacks. So you're gonna come up to the high plank, you're gonna bring your butt to your heels and right back up. So just right here, this is gonna still work the legs a lot, all right? Your option to step that down a bit is to just hold the plank. To elevate that move, what you can do is add in the push-up, all right? And if you want, you can even add in the full burpee, but I suggest you just keep it to the push-ups to kind of hit the upper body a little bit more uh, to balance out the legs from the first move. All right, so those are our two moves. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let's get ready to go. Count down for five, four, three, two, one. Starting off, we've got the knee taps. So I like to take my time on the first intervals just to kind of get warmed up. Alternate which leg you step up with. All right. Transition 10 seconds, plank pushbacks. So again, I always do, I always try to do the easier options first just to get myself warmed up since we don't have a traditional warm up for this format, for this class. So you should really be feeling the thighs turning on. So getting up and down is going to be a part of today's workout that's going to add some challenge to it. All right. Again, alternate what side you step up with. You can also do a back lunge if you do not want to get on your knees. If you do, maybe double up the padding you have just to make it easier. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Pushbacks. And you can 
can always make this push back a little bit faster as well, like this. And of course, you can add in that push up. And then some extra cushion here for your knees. You can just fold your mat over twice. Make sure you're alternating which leg you come up with. And again, you can add in that jump there if you're ready, just to take the move up a notch. So you should really get a lot of burning coming through the legs, depending on how fast you're going. If you're not really getting it, see if you can go a little bit faster. And again, you can hold the high plank, you can hold the low plank, and you can add in the push up to make that plank push back a little bit harder. So if you are trying to be gentle on your knees, as I am, make sure you come down nice and easy. Give yourself some additional padding for your knees and everything should be okay. All right, so if you don't look at the clock, this seems to go by a lot faster. I'm going to add in the push up here. So, this can definitely help you with your momentum. All right. So, you can always elevate it, take a step up, you can always bring it a step down. So it's form wise, again, the main thing is to let your knee down as softly as possible. And you wanna lift your knee as best as you can, as opposed to swinging your leg around. Try to lift your knee <clears throat> straight up. Almost like you're just lifting your knee straight up, as opposed to swinging it around on that, the knee taps. Right back to the knee test. Make sure you alternate knees. Try to start off with your weak leg. straight up as opposed to swinging it around straight up straight up I'm gonna turn the volume up here all right plank push back so we go it up guys come on keep going all right so we are pretty much halfway through easy easy let's keep it going so hopefully you don't have to do any jumping if you're on the second floor I would definitely suggest opting for those easier moves so you're not jumping up and down waking up people it's still pretty early but if you don't have that problem you know the people beneath you aren't there or maybe you just don't care or you're in the house good for you either way so if you aren't able to go uh, back very far 
I would suggest either just doing the push-ups or just going however far back you can handle in that plank pushback. So yeah, just hold that plank. You can get some core activation going on there. even take that plank further you can do some arm or leg lifts you can add in movement to make it a little bit more challenging so I'll show you in a moment how you can do that you can tap the legs you can lift the arms you can reach so if you're all you're doing is the plank again you can do some shoulder taps all right you can lift the legs you can tap the toes to the sides, bring the knee to the elbow. You can cross the knee to the elbow, reach up right here. And whatever else you can come up with. All right. Oh, we're on the knee taps. Yeah, right. And of course, you can do these quickly. You can add in the jump. All right. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going. So make sure you're keeping your form clean, as clean as you can. <sighs> Winding down, we're almost there. We got about six more to go. So you're taking your time to keep your shoulders straight over your hips. Try not to lean too far forward. We don't want to be here coming up. Do your best to keep the shoulders right over the hips. All right. <clears throat> back to the plank pushbacks. You haven't tried, maybe add in the push up now. And if you're really feeling froggy, maybe add in the clap push up at the top, then go back. Okay. All right, just about there. Okay, two more to go. Again, keep the shoulders stacked over the hips. Try not to lean too far forward. Because then you're going to load your low back. We want to put it in our thighs and our glutes. Keep the shoulders stacked over the hips as opposed to being leaned over. Come on, y'all. <clears throat> All right, we got two more to go. Or one, one or two. We're nearing the end. Again, shoulders over the hips. Whew. Last one. Ooh. <sighs> 
Okay. Cap it off. Cap it off. Catch your breath. Grab some water. We're all done. Again, our class is so short. Uh, please do stretch. Try to get y'all out of here. Let your breath come back down to normal. Then begin to stretch if you need to. Otherwise, thank you guys for joining me today for Wednesday Wide, the Wednesday Wide. All right, make sure you track your activity time if you haven't already. Have a set of reminders, something like that, so that way you can get credit for your workout if you have anything uh, going on where it will make more sense for you to track, all right? So, thank y'all for joining me. I hope that woke you up. Have a good rest of your day. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Mahalo.